Hi, welcome to our channel of IGNU Audiobooks, Indira Gandhi National Open University, School of Vocational Education and Training, Sawet, Bachelor's Degree Programs, Bachelor of Arts, Vocational Studies, Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, Vahamsm, Semester I. Bigla 136 English at the Workplace. Block 1 Exploring the Job Market. Unit 1 Profiling Oneself for the Job. 1.0 Objectives. In this unit, which is the introductory unit for the block, you will learn. Times about the qualities necessary at the workplace. Times how to behave when you go to a new office workplace. Times how to write a profile of another person using clues hints given. Times to read a profile of a successful person and understand the qualities required. Times vocabulary related to personal social professional qualities business. Times to understand language structures required for asking and answering. Questions related to the workplace. 1.1 Warm UP. Look at these sentences from a conversation between two friends looking for a job. Salman, you know, final year of college is almost getting over, and I am so confused about life. I don't know what kind of job I want. What? About you. Amir. I know that I want a job with a decent salary. Salman, but you must be having some job objectives. Amir, my objectives are very simple. I want security of service and an opportunity to do well in life. Salman, but everyone tells me one should have long-term as well as short-term goals. Have you thought about that? Now, enact a role play. One of you takes the role of Salman, and the other plays. Amir. You may add more lines. 1.2 Reading Comprehension, a profile. You must have heard of William, Bill, H. Gates, chairman of Microsoft Corporation, who is among the world's richest people. Read his profile and answer the questions that follow. William, Bill, H. Gates is the principal founder of Microsoft Corporation, the Worldwide leader in software, services and solutions, that help people and businesses realize their full potential. Microsoft had revenues of $39.79 billion for the fiscal year ending June 2005, and employs more than 61,000 people in 102 countries and regions. On 15 June 2006, Microsoft announced that effective July 2008 Gates will move out of a day-to-day -day role in the company and spend more time on his global health and education work at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. After July 2008, Gates served as Microsoft's chairman till February 2014. Subsequently, he took on the post of technology advisor to support the newly appointed CEO. Satya Nadella. Born on October 28, 1955, Gates grew up in Seattle with his two sisters. Their father, William H. Gates II, is a Seattle attorney. Their late mother, Mary Gates, was a school teacher, University of Washington regent, and chairwoman of United Way International. Gates attended a public elementary school and the private Lakeside School. There, he discovered his interest in software and began programming computers at the young age of 13. In 1973, Gates entered Harvard University as a freshman. While at Harvard, Gates developed a version of the programming language basic for the first microcomputer the MITS Alter. In his junior year, Gates left Harvard to devote his energies to Microsoft, a company he had begun in 1975 with his childhood friend Paul Allen, guided by a belief that the computer would be a valuable tool on every office desktop and in every home, they began developing software for personal computers. Gates, foresight and his vision for personal computing have been central to the success of Microsoft and the software industry. Under Gates' leadership, Microsoft's mission has been to continually advance and improve software technology, and to make it easier, 
more cost-effective and more enjoyable for people to use computers. The company is committed to a long-term view, reflected in its investment of approximately $6.2 billion on research and development in the 2005 fiscal year. In 1999, Gates wrote Business at the Speed of Thought, a book that shows how computer technology can solve business problems in fundamentally new ways. The book was published in 25 languages and is available in more than 60 countries. Business at the Speed of Thought has received wide critical acclaim and was listed on the bestseller lists of the New York Times, USA Today, The Wall Street Journal and Amazon. Com. Gates' previous book, The Road Ahead, published in 1995, held the no one spot on the New York Times bestseller list for seven weeks. Gates has donated the proceeds of the book to non-profit organizations that support the use of technology in education and skills development. In addition to this love of computers and software, Gates founded Corbis, which is developing one of the world's largest resources of visual information, a comprehensive digital archive of art and photography from public and private collections around the globe. Philanthropy is also important to Gates. He and his wife, Melinda, have endowed a foundation with more than $28.8 billion as of January 2005 to support philanthropic initiatives in the areas of global health and learning, with the hope that in the 21st century, advances in these critical areas will be available for all people. Gates was married on January 1, 1994, to Melinda French Gates. They have three children. Gates is an avid reader and enjoys playing golf and bridge. From the internet last updated June 2006. 1.3 Vocabulary Personal, Social and Professional Qualities Talking about people, the business world, and computers. Activity 2. 1. Look at the following jumbled words which are taken from the profile of Bill Gates. Put them in their appropriate webs. Add more words of your own. Leadership revenue, software programming, internet, access, visionary, basic, fiscal year, philanthropic, chairperson, organization, foresight, cost effective, personal computer, language, Microsoft, global company. 2. In order to be successful at the workplace you need personal, social and professional qualities. You will find words related to these qualities in the box given below. Put the words in their appropriate lists. You will find that some words fit into more than one list. Team leader motivator leadership. Soft spoken open minded conflict resolution. Disciplined receptive to new ideas ability to empathize. Friendly helpful approachable. Hardworking persuasive dedicated. Creative firm able to meet deadlines. Punctual role model inspiring others. 1.4 Listening, Talking About Oneself Activity 3 Listen to world tennis player from Hyderabad, India Sania Mirza talk about herself. Listen again then answer the questions. 1.5 Speaking, Giving a Self Profile You have first listened to Sania Mirza talk about herself. Now you have to give a brief self profile to people who do not know much about you. Speak about yourself using the following hints. You may write down what you have to speak on a notepad first. Hints. 1. Give your full name, age, date of birth, etc. 2. Tell something about your educational background schooling college, etc. 3. Say what you wish to do in life. 4. Talk about a special achievement and how you managed to get success. 5. Describe some of your personality traits qualities. 6. Talk about your hobbies interests in life and any secret wish or desire you may have. 1.6 Grammar WH Questions At the workplace you need to ask questions to know about people, their qualifications, interests, etc. 
You also need to answer questions correctly when you are asked about yourself, the department you work for, what work you do, and so on. These are known as WH questions. Another way of making questions is to reverse the word order of the subject and verb in a sentence as can be seen from the examples given below. Statement 1. Bill Gates is the chairman of Microsoft Corporation. Is Bill Gates the chairman of Microsoft Corporation? 2. Bill Gates continued to be the chairman of Microsoft Micro Corporation. Till February 2014. Did Bill Gates continue to be the chairman of Microsoft Corporation till February 2014? Another way of making a question sentence is by using do, does and did in front of the subject. Do and does are used in the sentences with the simple present tense and did is used in the sentences with the simple past tense as in the following sentences. 1. Plants grow quickly. 1. Do plants grow quickly? 2. The sun rises in the east. 2. Does the sun rise in the east? 3. Sandeep got up late yesterday. 3. Did Sandeep get up late yesterday? Sentence 1 has been changed into a question by putting do before the plural subject plants. There is no change in the form of the verb grow. Sentence 2 has been changed into a question by putting does before the singular subject sun the ending s in the verb rises has been dropped from the verb we use does with he she it and all singular nouns in the subject position sentence 3 has been changed into a question by putting did before the subject sandeep the past tense form of the verb got up has been changed into the simple present tense form of the verb, get up. We use, did, with all similar and plural subjects. 1.8 Writing, a profile. Writing 1. Activity 5. Write about any one person in your college workplace, use the questions to help you. Who is S he? What is her his educational background? In which department does S he work? What work does S he do? What are her his personal and professional qualities? What makes her him different from others? What are her his hobbies? What are her his future plans? What are her his achievements? Use the notes given below to write about we. Narayana Modi, Chairman. Infosys India. Notes. Times is an icon of new India. Times is the greatest businessman of recent times. Times creates a culture of discipline at the workplace. Times creates wealth and sharies wealth. Times eye for perfection. Times global citizen. Times listens to others patiently. Times respects all people. Times believes in simplicity lives in a three-bedroom house. 1.8 Summary In order to be successful at the workplace, you need to be prepared to speak and write about yourself. Introducing yourself with confidence, being well prepared to meet new people, meet new challenges, etc. will go a long way in enabling you to adjust to a new job. In this unit you have learned about personal, social and professional qualities needed at work. You have read about some very successful people like Bill Gates, Sania Mirza, Narayan Murthy etc. and what makes them successful. You have also learned how to talk about yourself and to write a self-profile. In the grammar section you have learned how to frame questions and answer them. Thank you, subscribe to our channel for more updates, and we will see you with the next chapter.